Good morning everybody, welcome to a new video. We are leaving Balu, Thailand to the pier to catch a boat to an epic, epic island hopping. Thinking where are we gonna sit? They said big boat. <laughs> Is that big boat, Shalit? Shalit. Where are we gonna sit? Huh? Off we go, we go to a place called Maklan where we're gonna stay tonight and we're gonna drop off all our luggage because we have too much to be uh, carrying on on this uh, big manga. <laughs> so, dear guys. We're going to like four, three, four locations today. It's gonna to be epic. Surrounded by rock all around this beautiful beach and the ocean here is perfect. Wow! And it's called Tuk Maklan Beach. We're gonna drop our luggage off here quickly and then we uh, continue the happy This is insane. We'll show you guys a little bit more about this place once we finish the tour today. The surroundings here. It's like isolated from the movie Beach. You've seen the beach with Leonardo DiCaprio? Huh? This is it. Yeah. This is it, guys. Incredible, beautiful place, and a doggy. <laughs> this is Isla Pobrasis, and I am speechless how beautiful it is. The sand, guys, my toes can feel it, but it's sand. I would say nine out of ten. Yeah, with the <laughs> yeah. What is this? <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> However, this is the first stop. Relax a little bit. We asked for a buco, but this place is so picturistic. So we're gonna snap a couple of those Instagram photos. I mean, look at that tree over there, mangrove tea, with balut in the background. I think that's just a picture perfect one. Astonishing. It's just like, oh, I want to be here for a long time. And the guy that was with us in Sarangani, he's a Scottish guy, been living in Mindanao for eight years. And he calls himself Mindanao Martin. And he told me he wants to live on this island. That's his dream. Ben. Yeah. Look at these things here. Poop? Yeah. Do you think, what is this? I think it's sand. It's not. It's poop? Yeah, it's a poop of... Sandy poop, that's good. All right, look at this tree, guys. We're gonna snap a photo here. Whoa! <laughs> and the coolest part about this place is that this is the furthest south island in Mindanao, beside, I think, uh, somewhere in Sulu Sea or in Tabi Tabi. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think Tabi Tabi is closer to uh, or further south, right? Maybe, yeah, but uh, in this part of Mindanao, it is the furthest south point of all islands of islands and in the Philippines. That is the Balut Island. Yeah, that's the Balut, yes. It is the last island. Indeed. And the water temperature is just... Oh, 
So perfect, so perfect. It's not cold, it's not warm, it's just that right in between. We'll dip it later, just a walk now. Chillin. We got a buko. So good. Is it good? Yeah, super nice. good. You know that sometimes we know that if it's the coconut tree is near in the ocean. That's the best. Yeah. Wow. That is a good book of. Really nice. Side view, fin side view. Super I sweet. I can't see you. Side view, side view. Hey, too much. <laughs> it's so good. I like the smaller ones. Easy to hold. And you can see the color, guys. We talked about that before. It is a little bit green into brown, I mean yellow. It's a little bit green into yellow, which means that's like the perfect timing to harvest them for the juice. Got some friendly ducks over here. So small. <laughs> ranger, his name is Ranger. He's a Power Ranger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to get a Hello, Ben. Again, again. Did you see that? Always check. You gotta yeah. check the coconut. like the best color mm. little bit yellow and a little bit green perfect this is how you check <laughs> i keep saying that we always uh, support your locals and uh, what we mean by that is like for example when you go to very remote places a lot of times uh the locals they they, they climb up the tree they, they get to your coconut and they don't charge for it a lot of times so what i mean by saying supporting the locals is just you know no matter what if they say if it's free you know give something back how much is the the the, the buco here <laughs> it's like 10 to 50 pesos in the city 50 to 100. <laughs> bye bye dookies bye bye night bye bye Thai. see you guys all right back to the boat to the next destination Welcome to the cave. It's a nice shelter.
Guys, look what I found in the water. I believe this is a spine of a shark. Shark spine. Alright. We came to another stop, another beach. Hello. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> A small community, we want to find some food for our, our guides. And us. And us, perhaps. Get some chicken or fish, we'll see, we'll see. But in a paradise, once again. How beautiful is this, Jalen? <laughs> Stunning. Check out the boat here they're building. This is us people, remember in uh, Surigao? Mm -hmm. We saw the competing of these ones. Yeah, this is the one. Yeah, I like the name, Wave Fighter. Uh -huh. yeah. Wave Fighter. See, they're fixing this one's broken. Ah, um, yeah, maybe that's why. But the cool thing about the boats in this area, they all have a uh, similar shape. Mm -hmm. and then the... It's like Vikings. We the Vikings, we always uh, fit our boats with like a dragon or something in front. Picking some food from a local Sari Sari store. It's probably gonna be uh, Skyflex, my favorite. Oh, and tuna and sardines, and I can. The island food, I love it. Easy to. Do you have a spicy one? Yeah, I've never spicy night. Found a pretty nice shell down here. Go there, come on, go there. I'm okay. I'm me. Guys, apparently this is a Muslim delicacy, rice, sweet. Just bite? That's it. Or maybe rip it off. Yeah, just rip it off. Man, that is sticky. Yeah. Sheldon is grabbing some part of it. Mmm, it's chewy, little bit uh, sweet, brown sugar, yes? Yeah, yeah. Sugar. that's good. Brown sugar, rice, and carrots. Thank you, that's good. Alright, we're leaving this beautiful island remote community here in the most southern part of Mindanao. The waves are picking up a little bit, we're going back to Maklan where we're gonna stay tonight. That area is insane. Paradise. What do you got there? Oh wow, can I put that in my uh, hair? 